everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy John Zammer again, opening up another package from JNT Express, the best courier in the Philippines. They're the best, you know, because I ordered something from Cebu and they gave me a update that it's already in the gig the other day. And when I checked this day, it's back in Bacolod City, which is another <laughs> Another island in the Philippines. <laughs> They're the best, right? Anyway, I do not know why um, they're the only option in that shopping app where I buy things. Anyway, this one is another toy. Nicely packaged. Uh, just a lump of gray box. Let's open it up and open this monstrosity. All right. Now this is another Marvel Legends toy and yeah, probably one of the few last that I will be opening up because I have to save up for something. I got this also from the mid-year sale. Okay, I said from my last video that was the only thing that I bought in the mid-year sale. Apparently, I did not. I placed a lot of other figures uh, in my cart and waited to check out during the mid-year sale. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really counting it as something I bought during the mid-year sale. But I actually waited for the mid-year sale to check it out from my cart so that I can get discounts. This was one of them. This is Firestar from the Marvel Legends series. Firestar is a character from the New Warriors. If you are familiar with comic books in the 90s, uh, Firestar also starred with Iceman and Spider-Man and Spider-Man's Amazing Friends, a cartoon series during the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Firestar is a mutant and she would often be paired up with Marvel Boy uh, from the New Mutants who is also a um, mutant and also a member of the original Guardians of the Galaxy if I'm uh, Vance Astro. Hi, so this is Firestar. Uh, Angelica Jones soars into battle, harnessing the power of microwaves to combat evil as Firestar. And, as, and if you could notice that at the back, there are no other figures uh, enticing you to buy them because this is a uh, figure that is not part of a bath set, a build-a-figure set. This is just a standalone release. Uh, Firestar, they got a logo. I'm not sure if they use this. For any comic book series starring Firestar, but they have a logo for Firestar here. Um, the illustration on the sides in the back are a bit more manga-ish. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a dog. So let's open this figure up and take a closer look at the figure itself. So, um, as you can see, uh, this is this came from Hong Kong, not from one of our local resellers. Okay, so it has this some sort of backdrop, kind of weird. And uh, I wish this was a bit more sturdier. It's a, made out of flimsy cardboard. And now we have the figure itself here. Uh, oops, and then her head popped off. So she comes with uh, an alternate head. I, d I do not remember the name of her dog. So, oh, the dog is articulated. You could already see. 
the dog's head can swivel. It is on a dumbbell joint, so there is a bit of a forward motion, side-to-side -side motion, uh, rotation. Wow, there you go. And some effect parts, flame effect parts. Um, one of the other uh, teen theme, teenage. Um, younger hero groups that I was following during the 90s was New Warriors and uh, I think there's a, a bunch of other figures already out from their theme uh, I'm sure there was a Night Thrasher a Rage um, a Marvel Boy the one with the full cowl um, that looks like a cosmic boy from Legion of Superhero. Uh, speedball? Was there ever a Marvel Legends Speedball? I'm not sure. There might be. Nova. The Maroon Nova. As well as the Blue Nova. So I think you could have a decent New Warriors team going on if you are collecting them especially now that we have a firestar here but uh firestar is a mutant um a pyrokinetic just like the who are the other pyrokinetic mutants magma sunfire yeah so you kind of have the same fire effect thingy going there going on which you can wrap around her fingers or her arm for that fire effect thing. Um, she also has this weird retro looking, weird retro looking uh, mask and another retro looking mask with a different hairstyle. This one is like the wind is blowing hard against her for a superhero pose. Uh, I wish I have a Spider-Man, Spider-Man figure, but I do not have any, any modern Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure. Uh, I I thought I had one because I saw one uh, for the mid-year sale again that was going for just six hundred pesos, uh, but I was too slow to check it out. When I was going to check it out out of my cart, it was already sold out. So. I did not get a retro Spider-Man, so I only have uh, retro Iceman from the retro X-Men line, uh, Firestar, and that's the only thing I got. So I don't have the amazing friends display that I would want, but um, I'm gonna put Joan Angelica Jones. Angelica Jones is that her name? Angelica Jones here with the the other mutants. Uh, mutants should stay together with their fellow mutants. So, she'd be a great addition to the Savior School. She comes with alternate hands, a closed um, left hand, a closed fist left hand, and a um, power spewing right hand. So, we could have her have two closed fists and two power spewing hands. Uh, both can... Uh, have articulation that allows you to move it inwards and outwards. Both have has that articulation for this one. Uh, is this the pinless one? No, this I think this is not yet the pinless pinless figures that they were raving about. <laughs> uh, articulation for this uh, mid torso is on a dumbbell joint. Allows you forward ab crunch, back arch, uh, side to side motion. Rotation there. Um, shoulder articulation allows you to move the hand sideways upward like so. Rotate it fully. Yeah, she has a bicep swivel located right near her elbow joint. A single jointed elbow. Uh, limited 
very limited uh, bend there uh, rotation at the wrist and uh, like i said there is an inward and outward movement for those hands uh, for her hips uh, you could this is the amount of uh, oh, what do you call that a split that you could do she could raise her feet up that much has a um, thigh swivel no boot cut swivel there double jointed knees are a rotation on the no not just a tilt for the angles and you can point it up and down and of course she comes with this nicely sculpted dog with a articulated head very nice i, I wish the the tail was articulated as well uh, for changing her head you could actually use it. i prefer this head from this one um is this the costume that she was wearing when uh, in that animated feature? I'm not really sure. I forgot most about it. But there. I, oops. She can actually stand quite well. Can he? Can she? I'm not really sure. Let's try. She's kind of very, very thin and kind of reminiscent of uh, older female figures. But I guess this is okay. She kind of has a sickly yellow color to, to her. Um, I would wish that the color yellow was a bit more oranger. A bit more orangey than this pure primary yellow. Uh, the red is also primary, very red. Uh, they did have some um, different shades of red for the hair here to add volume. They did not do that on the other head, head however. But there is a bit of a gradient going on there. So it goes from darker red to a lighter red. The faces that I got are... Uh, painted quite nicely there is no uh, smears or anything the eyes are sharp uh, this one is a bit cross-eyed but it's okay and the dog is just adorable and that's it no comparisons with her amazing friends because I am a bit lazy to get my other figures out of wherever they may be um, thank you for watching uh, this video uh, please do give, please do leave a like share this to your friends if you have comments questions and suggestions please do type them down below and if you are so inclined please do subscribe to the channel i do a lot of this unboxing stuff toys mostly gi joe's marvel legends uh, power rangers transformers Sometimes uh, other 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 toys as well, like the oh I haven't done in Ninja Turtles, but I should since I also have a lot of those. Uh, I also do McFarlane multiverse DC multiverse toys, and of course, if you are looking for some local Filipino content, comics wise, I also do videos on those as well as pop culture events in the Philippines. I'll get back to that. Whenever we get, we can have in real life events again in here. So once again, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys at my next video. Thank you guys.